Welcome to my backyard. This is a pretty normal pocket knife from the NRA. This is a butter knife I found in my kitchen about 20 minutes ago, and I am going to be whittling today. Whittling is the act of carving wood with only a straight edge blade and no other special tools. This is usually to make some sort of object or sculpture out of wood. I'm gonna be using it to make a pointy stick. Back in the Boy Scout days, playing with a pocket knife and sharpening sticks to pointy perfection was one of the best times a 13-year-old dorky second-class scout could do on a campout. Sharpening sticks into weapons of mass murder can create friendships that last a lifetime. Or you poke your friends for the whole campout and they, they hate you forever. Regardless, using an actual knife to cut through stuff? Just too easy. I can already make spears with this, admittedly, nice pocket knife. Oh, uh... But why do it again with the same knife when I can do it in a harder way for no reason? I'll be back. I'm back. I, I, got, I got the thing. Nobody needs this anymore. All we need is this butter knife. Look how dull and useless it is. <sighs> Pathetic. It can't cut into anything, even if you put some force into it. No sharp edges to hurt people, which, you know, is pretty safe, but... Still lame. Let's face it, butter knives are bad at cutting. That's why they're used to cut butter. And I understand that's part of their purpose, which is fine. Is that I need to cut wood with one. So I think the goal of today's video is one, we're gonna whittle a spear with just a normal pocket knife. Easy, simple, I've done it before. But then we're gonna use the butter knife and do the exact same thing and see if we can even do it. I just wanna know if it's possible to whittle down a stick with a sh knife like this. I realize now I haven't actually gotten any sticks for this project, so I should, I should go find some. So today's challenge is whittling with a butter knife, of course. So we gotta go find some sticks. And there's plenty of sticks in the backyard, but we gotta find sticks that are one, thick enough that I can cut into without them breaking, but two, not too thick that I can never actually get them into a spear without literal hours of work. So it's gonna be a little bit hard finding those. This pile looks like a pretty good spot to start with. An old burn pile just filled with sticks that might have something good on it. Okay, I think that would be a good thickness. So maybe we'll maybe we'll lop off this stick real quick. All right, we got the lockers. Let's uh, let's go let's go get some branches, shall we? Oh, and also, if you ever want to whittle or you just want to mess with sticks in general, don't use live tree branches. Like I'm not gonna take a branch from like that tree over there that just just has branches that are still alive on it. There's no reason to do that because there's plenty of dead sticks on the ground. So just grab a dead stick that's already good. Hence why I'm using that burn pile over there instead of one of these live trees. All right, that stick looks pretty nice. Also, screw that tractor, it's so loud. I got two sticks that I think will work. Tractor is still really loud, but these should be just about the right thickness for my whittling purposes. We got the sticks, we got the knives, and let's, uh, let's start whittling. Like I said earlier, we're just gonna be using the normal pocket knife first because it's just way, way easier than the butter knife. So I'm gonna toss the butter knife over there. Apparently both knives, I just tossed both of them. Either way, we're gonna start whittling using this stick and this knife, and uh, I'll show you the end result when I'm done. A few moments later. So I'm realizing the stick kinda sucks. It's still soft, we're not using this. Also, I fixed the camera angle so you can actually, you know, see what I'm doing. So I began my whittling journey. I originally had the camera set up in the wrong place, so I moved it, and then I said some weird stuff while I was whittling. Look at me hold knife like ape man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is going to be a long process, even with a good, knife. So as you can see, it's it's not really a spear yet, but we're getting there. I mean, it kind of, the tip kind of pokes a bit, but you know, it doesn't really look, it's still flat. It doesn't really look like a spear. I'm not even to the challenge part yet. My, my wrist is just really tired already. And I think I'm gonna call this the finished product. I have to say, not, not bad. It's kind of pointy and definitely would be annoying if you were to stab somebody in the leg. And also, just stabbing myself right there, that does that does kind of hurt. So it this, I would say, meets the satisfactory requirements of a whittled spear. I guess it's on to the butter knife now. Jesus Christ. I then moved on to using the butter knife, the main attraction of the show. And also, while using the butter knife, I said some weird stuff. I don't know, it's just a weird trend that I do while I'm whittling, I guess. Look all this easy to get stuff to get off. Let's just get started. I don't really want to use this end because of all the garbage that's on it. I'd have to like cut off a branch, but this end's already like halfway cut, so I think we're kind of obligated to use the thick end, unfortunately. So here we go. Butter knife. Whittling with a butter knife. I'm doing it. And I already hate it. This is still not too bad, all things considered. I'm only saying this now as I first start though, so it's only gonna get worse. See, whenever the knife cuts, like with the pocket knife, it'll just go through clean like that. But with this one, it really likes to bend back because it's a little bit more flex. It's actually a lot more flexible than my pocket knife. So we're having some issues 
getting decent cuts, as you can imagine. But life goes on. I'm already having my doubts if I'm even gonna be able to do this. Like, it feels like stuff is coming off, and I swear I can hear stuff hitting the ground, but also it feels like I've made about 1% progress since I started. But because I just whittled with the pocket knife, my wrist was tired, so I decided to move inside and continue whittling a later day. It is a couple days later, and I am back to full strength so I can continue to whittle with my butter knife. I moved to inside just because it's easier to film. And I got my trash can down here that hopefully you can't see because it's an ugly piece of shit. You know, I think I'm making a little bit of progress. This end is a little bit pointy. Not very pointy, but a little bit. So I just cut the wrong way, like back towards me, and somehow that actually helped. I was able to cut more wood off. No, I'm not gonna continue to do this because I'll probably kill myself, but you know, just really weird observation. Alright, I think we've made what I would consider to be a spear. Look at that. I mean, it's not gonna kill anyone. It's not really gonna hurt anyone, but it's sharp enough that I would consider it at least annoy somebody. So I consider that a success. We whittled a spear with a butter knife. God damn it, that was kind of hard. Although on the hardness scale, I'd say from one to five, this was like a three and a half. You know, it was fairly difficult. Certainly harder to do than normal, but not, it's doable. Although it requires a little bit of elbow grease, that's for sure. I think in the future, and I'm, uh, unfortunately I just, I don't have time to do it in this video, but I think in the future I would like to try and come back to this, but actually try to make like a sculpture of something with a butter knife. If you'd like to see that, be sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. I would really like it if you did that. And yeah, that, that, that's pretty much, I don't know where I'm going with this, this is just the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, be sure to click that little thingy right in the middle, right there, right in the middle. Go subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Bye. <laughs>